Mr Lords, I am pleased to speak in support of this bill. The issue raised uh, by the bill is simple. If someone objects to abortion or assisted dying on the grounds of conscience, how far should they be entitled to opt out? The issue is simple, but the solution is difficult. The Supreme Court held that as a matter of construction, the Conscience Clause provisions of the 1967 Abortion Act should be interpreted narrowly so that Mary Dugan was not entitled to refuse to help facilitate abortions by organising other nurses for the purpose of providing abortions. The aim of this bill is to change the wording so that freedom of conscience will be able to be invoked as a grounds for refusing to do acts which are less directly connected to the abortion itself than is presently the case. I think that is a good thing and I shall endeavour to explain why. The first reason why it's a good thing is that a significant number of dedicated healthcare professionals have profound moral objections to both abortion and assisted suicide. The role of the state is not to sit in judgment on these moral objections. It is not the state's role to coerce people into acting against their conscience. Therefore, it's a good thing and a reasonable thing that the state should make conscientious objection provision sufficiently broad to excuse acts which genuinely offend the conscience. The state should, I think the state should err on the side of respecting conscience rather than placing valuable medical staff in a position, and nursing staff too, in a position where they have to choose between their vocation and their conscience. My Lords, I had a number of friends who, when they were applying for consultant posts in obstetrics, would be asked the question, are you prepared to take your share of the abortions? And if they said yes, they were considered for the appointment. If, on the other hand, they said, yes, I'm prepared to take my share of the abortions within the 1967 Act, they were not considered for the consultant post, and many of them had to emigrate. And they were, they were very good uh, clinicians, and it was a, a great loss. The second reason I support this bill is because there's no evidence whatsoever that this, if this bill is passed, it will detrimentally affect anyone seeking an abortion. The third reason I support the bill is that it is both unwise and unnecessary to force medics and nurses to act against their conscience in any sphere whatever. If we train them to do that in one sphere of work, we have only ourselves to blame if they do that in other aspects of their work. For these reasons, I support the bill.